All right, high contact point, slice shot, backhand slice or forehand slice. What are the pros for this situation? Uh, not many, <laughs> not many pros. This is not a comfortable shot for a backhand slice. Skilled players will control it, but there is no real advantage with it. So you, again, you're trying to control the ball. I will mention that in the tactics part. So open racket face, and high ball are not really good friends. It's, it's a, not a very happy combination, so you need to know how to really minimize the racket angle openness, and also you need to swing steeper down, which might be a bit strange to inexperienced players that we swing so at such steep angle, but that's what you have to do, especially if the ball has a lot of topspin and it's coming up. So if you're behind the baseline and you're getting a high ball, you are neutralized. So whatever the stroke, we mentioned that also in the topspin uh, videos. So with the back and slice, you're also neutralized. You can't hit a heavy ball from this, so you just have to hit a controlled shot. So not any really really big pros you have to be careful with balls like that so what are the cons of hitting a high back and slice like i mentioned we have an open racket face by default because of the grip and high ball want to make the ball go high so you have to find this angle it's not easy to find this angle you have to find two angles the first angle is the angle of the racket face and the other one is the angle of the swing path so that your ball goes in a nice trajectory back deep. So let me try and demonstrate again. So right now I'm not receiving very difficult balls, but again, if I'm playing the ball like that in reality, then I would be careful that I don't hit too much under the ball because very quickly it will either go long or it will just float and drop in the court. So not an easy shot. Uh, you have to be careful with it. What's the most common mistake at this height? Like I mentioned, for medium players can swing too much across, but I would mention another mistake that players do when they're hitting a high back and slice, which is that they want to hit the ball too steeply down so a lot of balls end up in the net or they land short and then they bounce right into the strike zone of their opponent so their opponent gets a low ball not too low but just like somewhere here where they like it most and they will hit a good shot out of that so you were in difficult situation here you were not comfortable with the high contact point and if you play the ball too steeply down then you're making it easy for your opponent so you must try to return the favor to your opponent. If they gave you a difficult ball, then if you're hitting a back and slice, then try to do the best you can to give them some kind of problem. So the only problem you can give them is very good depth. So keep that in mind. Let me try and demonstrate first. Maybe from this angle you will not see, but if I'm going too steeply down, then the ball is short or it goes in the net. So this one is landing in the service box and that would be very easy ball to attack. So I have to go deeper. So this one landed just a foot inside the baseline. So I will show you in a comparison the difference in the swing path and the ball flight. So again, if I'm up here, I have to avoid the most common mistake, which is hitting too much down. So I want to play the ball with good height above the net. So. I think one of the causes why players play too short is because they still want to play low above the net. So from this context point, they still want to play a slice low above the net and that even if they succeed, the ball is short and easy for your opponent. So you must maintain good height above the net from here and quite a shallow trajectory to the ball so that it goes deep. Okay, so high ball and back and slice are not the best friends, like I mentioned. 
you can learn to control the ball well so you must know that you are neutralized when you're in this situation you're behind the baseline you have a high ball on the slice so forehand or backhand so you are neutralized so take that into account don't try to attack from this position play the ball deep so I will also show you the one con that I mentioned a few more balls Kaya so if players what oftentimes make a mistake is they try to go down too steeply from a high ball like that one was short or this one is short you see in the service box so the ball bounces very nice for your opponent so if you have even this one is too short so if you have a high ball you must maintain good height above the net so you see that one is just a foot inside so I must maintain good height above the net and try to keep the ball deep because I cannot really attack from such uh, position behind the baseline so I'm trying to keep the ball deep maybe aim to the weaker side and, and wait for another opportunity so keep that in mind now we're not again adding any extra speed like we were doing at medium height we're kind of playing in a similar way like low contact point back and slice so your main objective is control and depth so in conclusion, I hope that these tips on how to handle slice shots at different contact point heights help you out because I want to make the video short and concise and clear. I did not cover everything, so I just wanted to point out the most important things in terms of pros, cons, mistakes and tactics. But of course, if you have any other questions, specific to the contact point height and slice shots just let me know in the comments below and i will do my best to answer so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time